Yeah, I mean, what more can you say about McCoo? He's a beast in big waves, and the results that he's racked up over the year prove that. I mean, he was the Sunset World Cup winner. He had the biggest wave in the world at age of 18, and now he's the world big wave champion. So all those things add up. Like, there's no denying how good he is. Mark's probably the most mad slab hunter that I've ever seen on planet Earth. He's brought slab surfing to the world. I think he's uh, Laird Hamilton of slab surfing. And uh, it's an honor to surf against him. His style is strong style, um, very committed. His strengths are, you know, not, not being scared. He pulls into the barrel, whether it's a big left coming at him on a right, or, um, you know, that guy will, will charge pretty much any slab in the world. He's definitely going to be coming in confident. Uh, I wouldn't say cocky. Uh, he knows how difficult Kefir is to surf, and he knows that I've spent more time in the water than, than anyone out there. I just think it's going to be really good fun. Instead of a battle, it's going to be more of a tussle for who wants to push the level of slab surfing and, and surfing in general to the next level. I might not be the strongest sometimes, or I might not have the most experience at the wave, but I'll find a way to win. For over a decade now, I've been going to Hawaii and I've sat a pipe and basically watched him get the best waves of the season every single season and I get basically nothing at pipe. So I would love to go to my home break now at Cape Fear, him sit back and have to watch me get the best waves of the heat. So if it plays out like that, I'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs>